what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video so in today's video we're going to be talking about how to unlock all of the locations including the secret moo which is basically in another video on how i show you guys how to find all of the nine rune locations so make sure you check that video out because that will give you the full in-depth tutorial on how to do that one specifically okay so in total there are five additional locations within minecraft dungeons um of these five the one at the end the secret cow level this is going to be one that's a little bit different in, as far far as unlocking so like I said in the beginning of the video if you're looking on how to unlock that and find all the rune locations go ahead and go into my minecraft dungeons playlist and find that video now the first one is going to be within creeper woods so within creeper woods you're going to be unlocking creepy crypt now as long as you explore all of the left side of the map especially the first half you should be able to find to where you can actually unlock creepy crypt so what you'll notice is there will be a small stone wall that features two redstone bricks on the outside making it pretty hard to miss once you have found the entrance simply press the button that is along the ground next to the wall and a hidden entrance will appear again like I said this one is pretty easy it doesn't actually have a spawn rate it will be there hundred percent of the time so go ahead and find that switch go ahead and go inside and then go ahead and collect your map now for the map specifically you don't need to finish the levels you can go ahead and collect the map go back out and then go back to base camp okay the next location is going to be in soggy swamp so in soggy swamp we're going to be trying to unlock soggy cave so within soggy swamp what I recommend is as soon as you load into this go ahead and pull up your full size map and look at the bottom left of your screen check to make sure that you have at least one secret that can be found and that secret is actually going to be this door so sometimes you'll actually see that you'll have two secrets three secrets one secrets sometimes you have zero as long as you have at least one you'll be able to go ahead and find this door because it does have a spawn rate and it's not in every single soggy swamp that you spawn into so if you notice that you spawn into soggy swamp and then you look at your map and you notice that there's no secrets to be found go ahead go back to base camp and then spawn back in and then check right this is going to what you're going to be doing for a couple of the maps so you know it again it is annoying but with how random minecraft dungeons is this is just something that you have to do but anyways so for soggy swamp the map can be located during the second or third half of the level and in most cases on the left side of the map so you'll notice here that i'm showing in the gameplay it's actually kind of like in the i want to say southwest corner of my map kind of like halfway through it um you'll know you have found the area as you will travel down a set of cobblestone stairs and find a dungeon entrance at the bottom so once you find that entrance go ahead and go inside our next location is going to be pumpkin pastures so this one one I swear to you guys this one is probably the most annoying one that you're going to be doing or trying to do and I promise you it is very very annoying just the spawn rate on it is absolutely horrible I don't know why they made it so difficult but anyways you're going to be going to pumpkin pastures in pumpkin pastures you're going to be following a, probably about like the first half of the map making sure that you go through all the paths and then there should be a small ship within water that you can actually find and within that small ship you're going to be entering it and then you're going to find that map that map is actually going to be for the arc haven and then that's how you unlock the third one now for this video i don't actually have gameplay on unlocking that one i unlocked that one by accident very very early on and i spent maybe about two hours myself trying to recreate that and respawn that and it just didn't work for me so like i said i've seen online that a lot of people are having issues with this one so keep spawning in and out making sure that you have secrets to be found there is no given number i've checked from one secret to four secrets on the map and it doesn't matter those are just based on some chests now if any of you that are watching this video have a better way or a better tip on how to actually spawn the ship in there like 100 percent of the time that would be amazing put it in the comments below and i'll actually go ahead and pin that just so that way we can help other people but like i said go through the first half of the map try to find that ship in that ship go in there and collect the map if you make your way kind of to like the uh castle or the stone um kind of like defense wall tower i don't even know what to call it once you make your way there to where like the gate closes and stuff and you notice that you haven't found the ship this is kind of like the first half and i would just recommend logging out and then going back in and then trying to find the ship all right next we have under halls so under halls of course is going to be in the high block halls 
So once you go on the high block halls, what you need to do, this is probably one of the easiest I would say. Now what you need to do is follow the path for probably like one to two minutes inside. And then you'll notice that there are two sets of stairs that you're gonna go down. Those two sets of stairs in between those, you'll notice that there's kind of like what should be a door. And then there's two shields, one on the left, one on the right. You're gonna go ahead and hit the shield that is on the left or hit that switch. Once you hit that switch, it'll open up and then you can go inside and grab your map. All right. Last but not least, we have the secret cow level. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, this one's a little bit different. You need to be collecting all nine runes. So I have another video in my Minecraft Dungeons playlist that shows you where all nine runes or their locations are, how you can get there, what you need to do, the whole shebang, right? So go ahead and check out that video and it will actually show you how to unlock the secret cow level. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful to you guys for anybody that's trying to find all five locations or secret locations for Minecraft. Now, again, the last one's going to be in a separate video, so I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description below just to make it a little bit easier on you guys. But like I said, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, let's go for uh, let's go for at least 20 likes on the video. I'd very much appreciate that. In addition to that, if you're new to the channel or you just haven't done it yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for more video game tips and tutorials. And I'll see.